Oppo has unveiled its latest smartphones in the Reno lineup for the Philippine market. Within this series, three smartphones cover a spectrum from mid-range to flagship offerings. Among them is the vanilla version, poised to make its mark in the mid-range market. In this full review, we will find out if the Oppo Reno 10 5G stands out in the competition. The rear camera part has a pill shape that is extruded. The unit we have is in ice blue, which has a shimmering effect when it is lit. It also features a sandblasted finish, making the back fingerprint free. Another available color option is silver gray. The Reno 5G design not only looks great but also feels great in the hand. Due to its curved display, the cover also has a 3D curve, making it comfortable to hold. Additionally, it is slim with a thickness of only 7.99 mm and weighs only 185 grams. On the right side, you will find the volume rocker and power button. At the bottom, there's the speaker grill, USB Type-C port, microphone hole, and the SIM tray which can hold two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card plus a micro SD card slot. I hope they continue this kind of setup for the SIM tray throughout the series but it seems to be exclusive to the Reno 10 5G model. Above it, you'll find an IR blaster. This year, the Oppo Reno 10 5G features a larger 6.7-inch AMOLED screen compared to the Reno 8's 6.4-inch screen. The Reno 10 5G boasts a 120Hz HDR10 Plus certified display with a 93% screen-to-body ratio and a resolution of 1080 by 2412 pixels. While using the smartphone for watching content or playing games, the display is great. The colors are vibrant and the blacks are deep. Moving on to the speakers, the stereo speaker setup is a pleasant surprise, especially since the Reno 10 Pro lacks this feature. The sound is loud and clear, yet there is an option for ultra volume mode that sets to 200% volume and is really much louder but still remain crisp and not harsh. Surprisingly, the Oppo Reno 10 5G features a downgraded chipset despite being a new chipset launched this year. The Dimensity 750 used in the Reno 10 5G is slower in terms of CPU and gaming performance compared to the Reno 8 which uses a Dimensity 1300. However, for basic tasks like browsing the internet, watching content, and playing casual games, it performs well. It struggles, though, with heavy tasks like video editing and playing graphically intensive games. Paired with the Oppo Reno 10 5G is 8GB of RAM plus an expandable virtual RAM that is also up to 8GB, although it's defaulted to 4GB, with 256GB of storage. The storage speed is UFS 2.0 and while it's not the fastest, the higher storage capacity at a reasonable price point is understandable. The Reno 10 5G runs on Color OS 13.1 based on Android 13. Upon booting up the device, we encountered numerous pre-installed third-party apps. While they can be uninstalled, it's a bit of a hassle. Using the phone for browsing, content consumption, and gaming provides a smooth experience without any noticeable problems. An IR blaster is built into the Reno 10 5G, allowing you to use the device as a remote control for home appliances. The built-in remote app is easy to navigate and set up. This is a nice feature and it should be a standard inclusion in the Reno series moving forward. Thermal performance of the Reno 10 5G is surprisingly good. Running the CPU throttling test, it performs admirably, throttling to only 83% of its maximum performance. We also ran the 3D Mark Wildlife Stress Test where it performed excellently achieving a stability score of 99.6%. It is nice to see that Oppo changed the camera setup and it has included now a telephoto camera rather than depth camera or macro camera. The Oppo Reno 10 5G has a triple camera setup which composed of 64 megapixels main camera that is now an Omnivision OV64B sensor rather than Sony IMX766 which the Reno 8 uses. 32 megapixels Sony IMX709 telephoto camera and 8 megapixels camera. 
For the front camera, it has a 32 megapixels camera. It is truly a wonderful camera smartphone because of the configuration it has. When taking pictures using the rear camera in daylight, the results we got are great with a good amount of details and decent vividness in our images. During low light environment, if you will be shooting with a photo mode, it resulted to sometimes pale looking image but still has a decent detail and contrast. Yet if you switch to night mode, the image gains slightly color and contrast but suffer a little bit in its detail. All pictures taken using the main camera are set to 16 megapixels. To capture images with the full 64 megapixel capability, you need to select high res mode which is located beside the aspect ratio button in photo mode. Additionally, there is an extra HD mode that produces a 108 megapixel image. The new 32 megapixel telephoto camera is a welcome addition and more useful than macro lens included in the Reno 8. It activates when you zoom in two times and is capable of digital zoom up to 20 times. It also automatically switches to two time zoom when you switch to portrait mode. For most people, the difference in image quality between the main camera and the telephoto camera might not be discernible. The color quality between the main and telephoto cameras is well maintained. Details in the image are sharp, similar to one times zoom. However, there is a noticeable loss of detail at higher zoom levels. We also tested the portrait capabilities marketed as the portrait expert. With good lighting, it produces excellent images with decent colors and background separation. However, image quality suffers in poorly lit environments with color appearing pale and details lacking. As for the ultra-wide camera, despite being only 8 megapixels, it still delivers usable images. It captures good details and the colors are not far off from those of the main camera. Finally, the front camera is similar to the Reno 8 capturing pleasing selfies with good color and detail. The Oppo Reno 10 has received a battery upgrade now featuring a 5000mAh capacity up from the Reno 8's 4500mAh. We use the phone for 12 hours performing general tasks such as browsing, listening to music, scrolling through social media, taking pictures, and playing games. It withstood the usage and still had 33% battery remaining. Charging-wise, the box includes a 67W Superbook charger which recharges the Reno 10 from 0 to 100 in under 1 hour. The combination of solid battery life and quick charging is impressive. The Oppo Reno 10 5G is a significant improvement in design, camera quality, display, and battery life compared to its predecessor, the Reno 8. However, there's been a chipset performance downgrade making it less appealing to heavy gamers. It remains capable of handling casual games and can be set to lower graphic settings for more demanding games like Genshin Impact or Farlight 84. Additionally, the phone comes with numerous pre-installed bloatware apps that might be an inconvenience for some users. Despite these issues with chipset performance and bloatware, the Reno 10 5G is an excellent choice for those seeking a camera-focused smartphone. It also stands out for content consumption thanks to its vibrant AMOLED display and spacious 256GB storage, making it attractive for users who frequently download movies or music. You can check out our full written review of the Oppo Reno 10 5G on the link in the description of the video. That's it for our Oppo Reno 10 5G review. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for updates on our latest videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you on our next video.